Okay, welcome back and thanks for watching. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, check the CG balance of the airplane. I use the uh, Great Plains CG machine. Um, and the picture shows here, you can do it upside down or right side up. I prefer to do it right side up. Um, I'm not sure it makes any difference, but uh, I like right side up. Um, I The CG machine looks like this. Um, it uh, has a very nice little ruler here that you can measure uh, exactly where the front of the um, wing will touch these two posts in the front. And the CG, according to the manual, is in a range from 65 to 70 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing at the fuselage. <clears throat> so what I normally do is I uh, at the, on the top of the airplane here, I have marked the 65 and 70 degree point in case I want to um, check it manually. I can either do that right side up or upside down, just a, as a quick check. Um, but I prefer to do an accurate measurement. So uh, let me get started with this. Okay. So you have to sort of carefully hold this up. Get it in place. Bring it on in, make sure the um, make sure it doesn't hit the camera. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Okay. So then you just sort of make sure that the the wing is touching that front um, post on both sides and that the wing is centered between the two. And uh, as you can see, I've let go, and because I've already done this before, <laughs> I always check it before I put it on film. Um, all right. So wait a minute, let me see how that looks. Uh, that one's all right. This one moved a little. Let me move this one back. just in the right place. Sometimes you bump these and they move a millimeter or two and a millimeter or two will make a big difference. Okay, so that is right on uh, halfway between 65 and 70. That one is right where it should be between 65 and 70. These are both touching the front here and uh, we'll let the airplane balance and I look at several things. First off, do the wheels look level? Yes. Um, there's, um, this one's not quite forward enough right there. Okay. Um, yeah, it's still not quite forward enough. Where we go. Okay. So, yeah, that's in a good spot. That This, uh, this wing wasn't touching this post here, and now they're both. Uh, um, here we go. Now they're both touching. Okay, so um, you can see if you're off a little bit, um, uh, you can add weights or whatever. In this particular case, the aircraft is slightly nose down, not by much. That's probably level. Right there is probably level, and it's just ever so slightly nose down, which is better than being uh, tail heavy. So it's slightly nose heavy, and that actually makes a better performing airplane. Uh, you don't want it tail heavy. Uh, in the center of the range, I look for slightly nose heavy, and that's where this is. So we won't need any weights. Um, if I did need to put on weights, I'd put it on the very tail. If there's if there's uh, uh, weight in the front, I put it underneath this. Uh, um, sh I actually screw the weights in so they don't come off, and I would put it right behind this nose wheel. Uh, otherwise, if it was tail if it was uh, uh, tail heavy, I'd put it here. If it's nose heavy, I'd put it back there, obviously, just to weight it out. But this is going to look very nice. It's uh, a well-balanced airplane. Looks like it's been well built. 
uh, by uh, all concerned. Okay, so that's the CG. It's balanced. Um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.